Welcome everybody back to the Spinner Rack. Today we're talking, we're having a reaction video about the old guard. Hey, tell me if you like it, tell me if you don't, but we're gonna give you what we think. Play. Now, now we, we also reviewed this and we've done a, a couple of smaller videos about this when it was just a comic book. So it was really surprising to be like, wow, this thing <laughs> that we might've been a little bit tough on is now a movie, so. Who are you? You can call me Andy. I lead a group of soldiers. Fighters like you. With an extremely rare skill set. What do you mean? Let's just say we're very hard to kill. You've got questions, kid. You want answers? I have a new one. I think she has potential. See, you're already Jeez. healing faster. You're gonna do great. So you good guys and bad guys? Depends on the century. So we really never die. Just because we keep living doesn't mean we stop hurting. <laughs> Throughout history, we've protected this world, fighting in the shadows. But it's nearly impossible to disappear in the world we live in today. I'm going to take one for you. Oh, thank you so much. Here you go. Thank you. These are extraordinary individuals. They are extremely resistant to capture. They're going to walk us out and weaponize us. But they've never faced an army like ours. An army of size. Shit, let's start a band. If we can unlock their genetic code, the entire world will be begging us for the key. You shouldn't have done that. We don't have all the answers. But we do have purpose. I strongly recommend that we leave right now. Wait for the signal. How the hell can you even tell? Oh. <laughs> All right. Now we chop it up. Charlize Theron is giving it to Marvel, saying, I should have been Captain Marvel. <laughs> I look better with short hair. <laughs> And, and she's right. <laughs> With an extremely rare skill set. What do you mean? Now, Mars, I know you have something to say about this. Let's just say we're very hard to count. I guess not. <laughs> yeah, I, had to, I said one of the first things I did when I saw this was that it reminded me of Highlander. There you we know. go. Yes. <laughs> so, there can only around. be one. It went yeah, from there can only be one, there can only be five. <laughs> Here's Sky Dance. That was um who's that guy? Robert Kirkman's part. He got money in this. Oh yeah? Yeah. That's interesting. I, just, I wouldn't have thought that. I don't know. I don't trust this. The last two, the last two or three Charlize Theron films I've seen where she had this type of role didn't quite resonate with me. She did this with Eon Flux. That she no, why with, would you go there? Why would you go there? Eon Flux. So uh, Mad Max, with you know, with, uh, Rada Furiosa, and she, just, and she did this for what was it? Uh, what is it? Atomic Blonde. She Atomic did all Blonde was things. amazing. And none of them Atomic resonated. Atomic with them. Didn't like any of them. Oh, thank you so much. Atomic Blonde shows she can do some serious action now. You know, um, the action is so. I mean, how many times do I got to see the same Savate kick? The action is generic. I need something more at this point. And Charlize Theron is a good actress, okay? She's definitely got the, but well, she's definitely got the look. She's got the acting chops, but the vehicles have just been lackluster for me. It's like, ah, uh, whatever. 
Shit, well, I think this one is going to definitely be a pretty good vehicle for her. You know, the concept that, you know, she's a, a kick-ass um, immortal going through the world. And I think the premise of this movie is that people have discovered that they have this, um, the, that they're immortal and they're trying to, I guess, make money off of it. So, Thailand. so that's what they're trying to do. Hey, what's what's Thailand. They can only be one. <laughs> here, it's around. Mm -hmm. This is the same and, thing and, that and happened and that first season of Highlander. What happened? Way. He found Richie. He found Richie. He found out Richie was an immortal. He took Richie under his wing and trained him. And then he met the other immortals, and it's Highlander. And look, they even got the same bloody symbol. It looks like a Celtic cross right there that he had, that he would have from the um, <laughs> sword. <Come on. laughs> well, listen. This is the classic thing of Hollywood. Well, no, actually, this goes into more of a, let's, let's go back to our normal way of looking at this. Let's just be chopping it up now. If we think about this, this is what Image has been doing, because they're sort of the, you know, like ground zero, ground zero we pull from Hollywood. And some of the movies that they've done, like, you know, like, what is it, like Two Guns or something, I think an Image book. Some of these things have been this sort of like, it's sort of like this and like that, and then they sort of snatch it. You know, there have been subtle differences. We don't know how many differences, like to say Walking Dead to like some of the, the Dawn of the Dead movies, that sort of thing. But this is what Image sort of does. It, it sort of gives you something that Hollywood can kind of, you know, grab at, and they kind of grab and take. And they Image does. Like, they're going yeah. right to Image Comics. Did you read Power of Shazam, the Jerry Ordway graphic novel? Um, it's been a while, it's been a while. What I just found out recently is that the approach that they had for the Power of Shazam graphic novel, how Jerry Ordway did, was that he designed it so it was like an, an adaptation of a movie for, mm -hmm. for Captain Marvel, even though no movie existed. So they played a little bit with the serials, but pretty much these were like, okay, let's imagine we were actually adapting a movie for a comic book. So mm -hmm. Almost reverse engineering a story that would be for a movie. Image does that a lot. Mm -hmm. Where a lot of the stories that we have seem to, they're almost like story, they almost like storyboards for a film. So they're like, okay, good. And then hopefully this gets picked up or at least optioned. And if it's optioned, I got 20 grand. It may never get to the theaters, but you know, that's more money than I would have got, you know, selling this comic over the course of the year. Uh, all cynicism aside, but a lot of Im image comics are like that, where they're crafted like they're made for, they're made for movies. Almost like what Frank Miller was doing with Daredevil when he first got on, when it was like film noir in terms of how he was doing the art and how the story was being progressed along. And then of course we have, uh, like Bendis does the same thing. He just, it's just incredibly decompressed when he does it. So, you know, I look at, you know, you look at something like the old guard and you're like, okay, the only difference here is I think they decided, you know, we'll, we'll go TV series as opposed to film, that's one. And two, I've seen this premise before. So we'll have, you know, I'll watch it and see how it plays out. You know, you got a good lead actress in Charlize Theron. I don't really know any of the other guys. I can't say that the premise won't work because it did work for Highlander. It worked for like six films of Highlander and at least, you know, a series and a cartoon. So it definitely we can get some, it can definitely get some more mileage over here. I, I, I hate to, I don't, we gotta wait and see, which is the best I can say. Well, before I let you go, I do have to ask Cal, do you remember us reviewing this, this comic book? I do. And when you said review, I was like, was I in on that one? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't remember it. <laughs> so, it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> well, it's like what, 2016? Or maybe something? so, maybe so. And that's sort of the, well, I think one of the things that Hollywood is good for is the saying of no, no one wanted to be first, everyone wants to be second. Mm -hmm. So that idea is that, you know what, here's an idea, and they've already kind of show Highlander is like, let's give you a group of Highlanders with a lot of money in this, that, and the other. Now, I don't think they followed, they didn't go for the sort of the high contrast sort of style like the comic book, but um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, you can see elements of the shots, like when they're walking down that hill and the shading and the coloring, um, when there's, some of the, there's like a shot and when everybody's sitting around in the glass in that room, it's, it's interesting that they have some of those things, those concepts. And like you said, those are really storyboard ideas in the comic for what could be done in the, in the, in the movie. Um, this, the, 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 it looks pretty good, I got to say. I mean, I, I'm a big fan of sci-fi. I'm a big fan of, I love the Highlander. So definitely into the mortal long live 
but what it costs, and I think that's the story here, what does it cost to be an immortal over time? You know, people think, oh, you're going to live forever, but there's more, because you leave those, what's that famous line? Um, you will always leave those behind, you know? You always leave everyone behind, right? And how do you deal with that? So it's a pretty interesting story. And we have, like, the main character, who's portrayed by um, Charlie Theron, what is it, Andrema, Andremesh, I believe her name is, and they call her Andy. You know, she's pretty jaded that over the years, you know, she's done so much stuff, you know, she's lost so much. Um, it, it's pretty interesting. I think there's a line in this in the story where she's like, just remember the people, take pictures of those you know, because you're not going to be able to um, remember them later in the past. And I, and that said, got, I don't know about that. I'm like, <laughs> but look, she's around, um, Andy's been around, what, 3,000 years or 5,000 years? They didn't have pictures in ancient Greek, in Greece. They didn't have pictures they, until they, the last They were doing etchings and whatnot and drawing. Yeah, this, my, were, this is my brother, this is my best friend here. He had an etching. <laughs> if you're not, so I'm just saying, that's a pretty good thing to go. And I like the fact that she's taking someone under her wings, you know, but there's a lot of, uh, in the story, there, there was always some interesting, like, why, they're, why are these people being picked? How do they know they are immortal? And so those are things that I, I want to see how they grapple and how they show. Because this, this is a series. It's a series of comics, and it could become a much bigger thing if it works well with, um, with Netflix. I'm all for it, you know. Did it say when it's coming out? Oh, man. Hold on. Let's see. Maybe Let's go year. back to it. Wait for the signal. How the hell can you even tell? There you go. July 10th. Okay. So I guess they're still doing a couple of little things to it. Soon come. Yeah, so it'll be here. So that's good. I think it should be enough well, time. Let's go, wait, before we go, let's talk about Greg Rucker. Now, you were saying that this seems too, low, too much like um, Highlander. You think... Greg Rucker being such an accomplished sort of writer, should he have gone this simple and just say, hey, I want something that can connect with Hollywood and I'll be the creator own thing? Do we expect more out of him? Yeah, we no, expect I more. Are we going to get more? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> Look, I think that this, this that there's one key difference here than Highlander, at least from what I can remember of the comic and from what I've seen here, is that in Highlander, you're basically taking someone else's head because everybody's gathering the power for the, for the end times. But here, they, they're trying to save each other or work together as a group, you know? Yes, there was Team Highlander at one point, but that was atypical, not necessarily the, the standard thing. They knew at the end they would have to face each other at, at one point. So um, I think the, the group element of it is a different take on it, on the Highlander take. Like, hey, you know. If there's nobody on the team who betrays someone else on the team, you're good. They're always going to be betrayal, bro. Well, then we got the same story. There can only be one. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, I, the approach is a little bit different because, again, we've seen this story before, that you're the immortal, that you outlive everybody. And, oh, it's so sad. It's depressing. You know, what am I living for? And then you know, humanity is such a disappointment. Is, is, has anybody decided to do the other thing? Well, yeah, I've been living this long. And, I've, you know, it's maybe this inspirational figure. I'm almost like a Gandhi-type person. That's the reason why I'm nonviolent. No. Pretty much the same thing. And the, the, the trick, which I've always gotten is, See, I'm going to make this cat immortal. That way I can just tell unlimited stories with him. I don't have to worry about the time period. This guy can be in any time period. He can go to the future. He can be in the past. So I can have an, ulti I can have an unlimited amount of settings. I don't have to worry about him dying. I can put him in the, all these different scenarios. And that's cool. You know, again, that's cool. But it's a writer's trick at the end of the day. But if you're not going, if you're not going to offer anything different, then I'm like, okay, well, I've seen this story before. I mean, you've seen most stories before, you know, but the question is how, if you like to twist on it. And that's, I mean, there's tons of murder mysteries. It's just a question of how you like that twist or how you like the way that particular author depicts it. So, I mean, I don't see anything different with this. I mean, they, they, may, they may do a good job and they may not. Um, I just think that here we have the opportunity to see a strong female character in this role. And, and let's not forget, you know, we think, oh, well, this is a comic book. But one of the biggest genres selling here is um, time travel. You know, and of course, they're not doing time travel, but they're going back and forth into the past, and weaving stories back and forth. Right. And this, the stars, one of the stars' biggest shows is what? I'm going to disagree with you just a little bit there. I don't dismiss it because it's a comic book. About 80, 80 to 90% of a lot of the stuff that we see coming down the pike is coming from comic books. 
okay? They mine Image, they mine Boom, they mine Marvel, DC, they mine all of that stuff. You would be very hard pressed. And before comics, and they still do it now, they mine Hollywood creates almost nothing original. Almost everything is based on some story that was from somebody's book or someone's play or a comic or something. So once it's in another medium, then Hollywood looks at it. Did it sell? Is it a good idea? Okay, we can move from it. Like uh, I, you saw Altered Carbon it was on Netflix as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a story. That was a you know short story in prose, and they just okay, we're gonna make the jump to the we made the jump to the screen. Very successful, very successful for them. So I don't dismiss it because it's a comic book. I'm actually I'm not dismissive of it at all. Uh, I'll be just you know a little bit precautious about it because again I've seen this before. And it's not like I haven't seen other types of, you know, there's plenty of subgenres that I've seen before and I still enjoy them. That's what attracts me to them. I'm just a little precautious about this because one, this would be my fourth go around with Charlize Theron in this type of role. And it didn't really work for me the last three times. Two, I'm familiar with this. I'm like, okay, if you are going to add something different, what is the difference? And if the difference is just that we have a female who's immortal, I've seen that before too. So again, I'm just a little precautious about it. I do hope to enjoy it. You know, I'm going to be watching it, but with some, but with, with the healthy amount of precaution based on the experiences that I've already had. With. You know, I, I, I like that point. You brought up something to me, and I didn't mean to bring, think about this, but in Highlander, they did have a spinoff series with a female protagonist who had short black hair. Yes. Remember her? Yes, I that, remember I don't you know. know. I don't. I think you're making this up. There's no chance there was something else already out like that. No. Do you remember the cow? <laughs> cow members? Because yeah. it was that whole scam that came out. It came I out around the same. I remember. What was the name it, of it? I forgot the name, but it came out around the same time. I can't find it. it came it out around the same time. That, it was really oh, short. I don't even know if it went for a full season. Oh wait a second. That's the one who had the scandal with Clinton at the time. Remember? Wait. That's. I don't remember. <laughs> Yeah, I remember that. A Clinton Something scandal too? Hmm? A Clinton scandal with it? The Raven? Is that what you're yeah, talking about? Yeah, that's it. The Raven. <laughs> the Raven. Highlander yeah. the Raven. Highlander the Raven. Oh my goodness. Let's, let's see this thing. Oh my goodness. Look at the tag nine. It was only one, it was only one season, but she was a... What, I think she made a bunch of guest appearances on the regular series. Yeah, she made a bunch of guest appearances on the Highlander, which was pretty good. You know, she, yeah, she was very po- you know it was popular, so they decided to do the spinoff. Spinoff, I think that it was lasted one season. Hold on, let me get rid of this thing. We don't need to go that deep into we it. We gotta <laughs> go this deep. <laughs> Hold on, I just want to. We gotta reference this thing. This 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 is great. So you guys are saying, oh no, but this is a different hair color. This is a different, slightly different hair color, right? I think she changed her hair color, but her name, she, her name was Amanda. So we got this thing here, the Raven, with this chick with the short hair that you can find on Amazon Prime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Hmm. Would be Birdie's scam. Oh, no. Read the truth. Birdies have a strict quality code. My booze are quality. They will prove it. You don't want to see that at all. Can be. She may have changed her hair for the new show, but I remember having her short black hair. She had short black hair, and then for the new show, she became a blonde. Oh, okay. All right. That makes sense then. So I mean, when 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 Cal was saying, "Yeah, we've seen this a female," and I said, "Hey, you know what? Actually, I do remember a female protagonist in Highlander with short black hair," and I was like, "Yo, that's cool." So it was interesting. So look, I'm out to see it. It looks interesting to me. It's on Netflix. I'm not paying anything more than my subscription price. Why not? <laughs> right? Hey, I'm with you there. <laughs> so next, we like, gotta give I see more review for that. We gotta give you the review for the entire, at least the first season, the first comic book series. We only did okay. issue two. Okay, we'll do that. We'll break down the characters, who the character, the main characters are. So oh when people God, get do we really have to? It's kind of hard to see to break down who the characters are. It's kind of muddy. The work is a little bit unclear. In the comic book. comic book. Yeah. Unless, um, unless this is a mandate, I refuse. I'll let you two do it. You can't refuse the comic review. You can't? You can't. 
Mars, I can't reviews? He didn't say no. I can I don't know. Wow, you chickened out on that. He asked you, and you chickened out on even that. Nice I try with the whole chickened out thing. You guys, you guys crazy. take it. You guys take it. What a, good, it what a good dad. <laughs> Thanks, Mars. Now, of course, we all know that I'll end up doing this review anyway. But at least I got out for this for this particular review. Okay. Well, cool. Well, let's call it out. Spirak? Out. Oh.